So guys, if you'll notice, my last few movie trailer reviews were all in green screen. And I had a lot of fun doing that. So I think I'm going to continue that trend for my movie trailers from now on. So for this review, we're going to be talking about The Revenant. So guys, uh, last week there was a trailer that dropped for The Revenant. This movie had been on my radar for quite a few months because I saw a still of Leonardo DiCaprio and he's all bearded up and everything and he looks like he's been through hell. And immediately it grabbed my interest because it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Pretty much anything he's in is really just great. And The Revenant is based on a true story about an explorer in the 1820s named Hugh Glass. He was on an expedition with some hunters and he was attacked by a bear and then left behind for dead. The movie is about him being stuck out in the wilderness and it's cold and snowy. And this trailer just really drives that point home. I mean, you can really see the struggle that he has to go through in this trailer. It's, it looks brutal. The first thing you see is him just standing there and he's looking at this huge mountain and he says, I'm not afraid to die anymore, I've done it already. And that's pretty much uh, the only line of dialogue that's in the whole trailer. The trailer is very visual and visceral. At the beginning of the trailer you see him running through the woods and there's somebody following him, I don't know if they're chasing him. Uh, it might be Tom Hardy, I'm not sure. Then right after that you see him in the midst of a battle and he looks like he's fighting for his life. And I'm thinking maybe this is what happened before he was attacked by the bear, because later in the trailer they show the bear coming at him. And that really is, in a nutshell, what the trailer is. It's just different scenes of Leonardo DiCaprio throughout this movie, and in every scene he looks like he is in some kind of struggle. And you know what, I love movies about struggle. Like, uh, immediately I was uh, reminded of Castaway with Tom Hanks, and that is such a great movie about a guy who is on a beach by himself for years, four years, I think. And it's hard to make a movie like that interesting with one person, unless you have a great director and you got a great actor like Tom Hanks. And here we have Leonardo DiCaprio, who is a great actor, loved him in so many movies, Gangs of New York, The Departed, Wolf of Wall Street. So far, he has not let me down. And then Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is the ultimate chameleon today. He was Bane, and then he was uh, great in Warrior. And if you watch those two roles, you would swear it's two completely different people just based on his vocal talents. Another thing that was really interesting about this movie is that it is going to be filmed in all natural light. The director, Alejandro Inarito, and I hope I didn't butcher his last name, I'm sure he did. He's a, uh, a Mexican director, but he has directed uh, Birdman recently, he directed Babel, and he also directed 21 Grams. I haven't seen Birdman yet, but Babel and 21 Grams are just beautifully shot movies and very well done movies. So this is a director that is definitely on my radar. So anyway guys, if you haven't seen this trailer yet, please go check it out. It looks really, really interesting. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know what you think of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and drum down now.